All right, um, we're 12 turns away. We could rush it and use most of our money to brush it, but I don't want to. Uh, I'm getting impatient. Oh, shit. What is he doing? What is he doing now? He's just coming through my property. You're stomping on my farmland, bro. Come on. Look at your big ass feet on my on my farms. What a dick. He hasn't attacked yet. He's not. Is he? No. He, oh, look at this. Oh, I thought that I thought they were gonna have a big ass war of a, a big bug versus big ogre. It would have been amazing. Would have been like a fucking Godzilla movie. All right, let's do this. Oh, it's winter. This should make things a little bit more interesting. Dust Dredger is now researched. Winter has started. That means we have a minus one to food terrain, minus one on dust production, a minus one to vision, and a minus one to expansion. I don't even know what that... Vision on expansion. I don't know what that means. Um, whatever, though. So, we're just going to wait. The winters are pretty short. So we'll just wait it out. What does this say? You have not selected any technology. Okay. So we did all of our technology. Awesome. What is this? Uh, improved search on ruins. Unlocks the army action parlay and bribe. Oh, that's what we want right there. That way we don't have to fight these, um... These minor factions. Oh, we can just uh, parlay with them and try to get them on our side without any battles. Perfect. All right, so what else do we want? We want to now start working on, I think, um, our military force, which means probably working on... Oh, uh, we could use this. We have glass steel right next door, so we can get a glass steel extractor. There's that, okay. Um, we can definitely use a mill foundry at some point. And then we'll go for advanced armor and advanced alloys for weapons. Oh yeah! Alright, so we're, we've got it all queued up now. Hell yeah. So I think at 10 researches on this thing, we'll move up to 2. I think you can still research things from this one, though. I'm not sure. I think you can still continue to research stuff back here once you move up. As you can see, it does have these little notches around the second era. So, 1, 2, 3, 4... Five, six, seven, eight. Eight of ten, it says. Um, I think. Yeah, it says you've completed eight out of the ten projects required to unlock this era. So once we have ten of these, which requires just two more, actually, we can then move on to this, which we'll have to discuss. We'll have to discuss once we get to that point. If we want to continue researching stuff over here, or maybe move over to the, some of this stuff over here. That'll be uh, something for us to figure out later. In turn, we're on turn 40, everyone. Holy shit, we went from 7 to 40 this episode. Wow, what a fucking accomplishment, everyone. What a gosh dang accomplishment. Gosh diddly dang. We're the best. Alright, so, um... We got to leave that. We don't need it. I guess we could increase something, but it doesn't really help. I mean... I guess we could maybe use some of our influence to go over into science. Building buyout reduction. Um, let's just go with this. What else are we going to use the influence points on, really? Alright, in turn again. 41. Oh, what a compelling game. I know that sounded, <laughs> that sounded sarcastic, but really, I kind of I love this game. Um, I just can't wait for it to be fleshed out a little bit more is all. Alright, um, so we're at the point now where we're going to be waiting for our settler. Um, at this point, we could pay 110 to rush it out, which I'm kind of tempted to do. The only problem is our dust production is not great. We did not pick a great location for dust. Um, as you can see, only three of our possible tiles produce dust and the fact that it is now winter is decreasing that f even further which is unfortunate so this is like this one it produces two normally from the red soil 
but because of winter it's a minus one so now it's only producing one so I think once winter is over these will all three be back up to two but that's still not a whole lot to be honest um, so hopefully we can get something going where we can increase our gold gold production which really we have the, the we have the ability to do that with the dust dredger and stuff so maybe we should it seems like we don't have an issue for food to be honest you know it doesn't seem like it but maybe we are having food issues I don't know I think we're gonna wait for the seed thing and then Empire Mint comes after that so we'll be good maybe we should do this maybe we should just avoid this one and go ahead and get um, dust dredger in there we got rid of the sewer in the queue and put in dust dredger instead not much is happening in the old city of Brahma ever since the battle with the giant which he probably wanted none of I think we are currently working on the this one yeah so we need three more turns for that and then we'll be able to send our army over here to this little city and try to parlay with them and avoid combat and get them into our our alliance that'd be pretty awesome Whew. all right so we're at 44 45 incoming oh we're almost up to 52 Actually, 42 is where we stopped, I think, last time with our with our other guys. Oh, it's summer. Thank you. The worst part about winter in this game is the winter noise in the background. It's really tedious. All right, so we are up to the point where we're almost there, right? I think we should be one turn away from getting the parlay ability. Boom. Done. We completed the language square recipe, or research, rather. So let's go over here, and let's see if we can get some uh, uh, parlay. Initiate negotiations with a minor faction village. If you fulfill their demands, all of their villages in the region will be pe pacified peacefully. Or we can spend 84 dust and bribe them all out. So let's see what they want. Patrol the region of Skyene to keep enemy armies away. You have encountered the tribe of Versus, blah, blah, blah. Make sure that no enemy army in the region sc for skiing in five turns. The thing is, I don't know if... I guess... I don't really know if, um... If that, like, the giant and shit... Maybe we should just do... This one. We're done. We're now pacified, I think. I think we paid them off. Yes. I believe we did. So let's go ahead and... Oh yeah, it does say this. Um, Minor Faction Urses is ready to be assimilated into your empire. Oh yeah. We can't. We don't have enough fucking money. God damn it. That's what the influence is for. <laughs> That's what the influence starts are for. Uh, if we hadn't changed our empire plan this time, we would have been fine. Alright, we'll come back... We'll be back, Urses. Don't worry. We're going to be back with more influence. more So much influence you wouldn't know what to do. Okay, so it looks like we finally got our settler. Jesus Christ, it took a long time. Alright, let's go ahead and new army it up. And decide where we want to build this next uh, next village. Do we want... Oh, look at this. We finally get to see who the culprit for all the skittering is. Look at this fucking frightening individual. Jesus Christ. That is scarier than I even, even fucking thought. Um, nothing I could have imagined. What is this weird shit on? Oh man, I think those are eggs. Uh, I want no part of you. I want no part of you. I'm kind of tired of you skittering back and forth, but at the same time, I kind of don't give enough of a shit to actually confront you. Oh my god, the thing is frightening. All right, so what we're gonna do now is decide if we wanted to be over here, over here. Let's go ahead and explore a little bit. How, what do you think about that? Let's go ahead and explore up here. And if the spider guy thinks about, you know, trying to kill us while we're up here, that's fine. We'll just kill him off. It's only one unit. We should be able to kill him pretty easily. Um, but if if it ignores us, we'll ignore it. 
I like the looks of this little area. It looks pretty fucking lush compared to the other areas. This one looks kind of desert. I mean, kind of like a frozen tundra. This one looks like a desert area. This one, though, look at, by the looks of this border, it looks like a lush son of a bitch. Okay. Let's end the turn. Let's end the turn, and let's make the rest of this turn up here. Okay. At turn 50, almost. Holy shit. What is this, though? A geothermal pit? Well, shit in my pants. Holy crap. What does that give us? Food, industry, science, and money. Oh my god, that's great. That is great right there. And we should build another city in this area. Oh my god. That is amazing. Because otherwise we have to build a bunch of burrows that lead up to this, which would be awful and expensive and would take for fucking ever. Should we do that? Let's go see what's up here first. New Miner Faction, the boss, which are the Centaurs. And as we all know, the Centaurs are the biggest fucking four-legged jerks ever. Just like all the other horse-type creatures, they're real, real son of a bitch. I like the place over here. It looks really cool. I like it. But we have to deal with the boss. I'm not so sure about that. I think the plan is going to be, of course, to build another city over here. Even though it's in the same region, I'm not sure it's really beneficial. I don't know enough about this game to really say whether it is or not. But I feel like maybe the, the, the idea of maybe getting this geothermal pit would be really good for us. It's, a, it's really a toss-up. Let me explore a little bit more. I'm going to explore maybe one more turn over here and see what is going on. And then after that, you don't want to build them too far away from it. Look at this. Two fucking villages. Holy shit. This place looks amazing, though. Look how green it is. Holy shit. Grasslands all over the place. Um, I don't think we can really manage this, really. <laughs> to be honest. If we build a city, we have to deal with two boss villages. Granted, we could just pay them off as well. We don't have the influence to even get this village. Alright, what we're going to do now, the plan is to send this guy back around this way. We can get rid of some of this gray. In turn, oh, we got a spider bastard. Alright, so, oh, look at this. Perfect. Search this son of a gun. With a hero-led army, loot as many treasures as you can in 15 turns. That is a dumb... It's a, it's a dumb fucking objective. But don't worry, we're gonna try it. <laughs> we're gonna try it anyway. New minor faction, the Seratan. That's the bug people we were seeing. Oh my god, they're, they're terrifying, to be honest. We did get a level up here, though. Um, actually, we could use this now. The improved search on ruins ability, since we're doing a bunch of it researching. Oh, this could work out great, actually. Search. Oh, we only need to do it once. Well, that's weird. Alright, I should have just said search an additional ruin. Oh, whatever. Uh, we got some titanium for that. Um. Oh no, this is a different one. Okay, so it gives us a, it gives us a reward for every time we research one in the next 14 more turns. So we got emeralds that time. If we do another one, we'll get titanium. Oh, that's awesome. I like that actually. I, I called it stupid, but I actually enjoy it quite a, quite a lot. Another quest? Oh, shit in my mouth, man. I'm not into this. Follow the tracks of the creature that pillaged the treasure. Great. So there's going to be... Oh my god. What the fuck is happening here? Where is this battle even at? Oh my god. What the fuck is going on? Really? Who the fuck are these people? My army's way over here. Ugh. 
it would figure that I've, I've left my guy over at my village for literally 50 rounds. And as soon as I move him away, that's whenever a random NPC shit shows up. Alright, whatever. I'm gonna go wreck them real fast. Oops. I guess that quest is going to have to wait. I'm gonna wreck you, sir. You're in my way. You're in the way of progress, so I'm gonna kill you. I didn't want to do it, but I got too close, I guess, and he... Oh, wow, wait. I'm into a new research era, and the dude left my city alone after killing my settler, which I waited and spent a lot of time on. Oh, Jesus Christ. I should have left it in the village, I guess. That's my fault. Alright, so if we continue along this path, we're going to have to fight this spider. Which is fucking fine with me, dude. I'll wreck ya. I don't give a shit. Mess with the best. Die like the rest. Alright. Oh, here's another thing. This should give us titanium once we get it. Wait, what? One of our marines died from that. Search this. Got dust from it. Lust for loot. Okay, so it's not every one of them. I guess this one has another um, amount of ruins you have to search for you can get it that it doesn't really tell you. We're just going to keep exploring, I guess. There's a red border here, which is not good. There is a ruin here, though, and I am going to get it off of their land. It's for the greater good here. Oh, what the fuck are these? Two-headed things. I'm not a fan. Come on, compute the turn, bro. Search. Oh, we got it. We got um, titanium. If we get another one, we'll get 30 glass steel and 80 dust, which would be good. We got 160 from that. Oh, this is great. Dust is really good for us because we're fucking poor. Uh, you've encountered a new minor faction. They're like werewolves, which is awesome. I don't want no trouble, guys, but I have a feeling you're going to give me some. Two-headed werewolves. Awful. It's like Jacob's. It's like if you're... Imagine if Twilight had two-headed werewolves. I think it would actually be better. It would be a better movie if it had two-headed werewolves. Oh, I think I'm about ready to call it for this session. Oh, it's been too intense for me now that we're over here exploring and stuff. I wish I could just hearthstone <laughs> this guy back to our village. So I think what we're going to do is I'm going to go ahead and travel all the way back here. It's going to take five turns. I think I'm fine leaving that quest where it is. We got some... Oh, really? Alright, that's fine. Let's just kill these guys. Dismiss. We killed them. They wanted to get fresh, and they got fresh. Alright. Five more turns, and we'll be home, and that's where we end it for this time. Uh, we just want to make sure that we next time we start up, we have the ability to defend our city immediately. It looks as though... Our city's population has grown to five. That's amazing. A uh, new empire plan can be done. We want to reduce it so that we're not using any of our influence points. And that way we can hopefully try our best to get the Ursies pacified this time. Or not, maybe not. It's not that we're... I think they're pacified. It's just that we have to... Confirm it with the influence points. What the hell is all this noise? Well, at least we got some exploring done. Look how much we've explored. Oh, that's amazing. Alright, um... Alright, guys. Oh, shit. 
Defensive, auto, killed. One of our marines is almost dead. What's this say? Second mouse. One of the armies roaming in Neris is a treasure that you seek. Oh, that's why. We, we started that quest to find the army that stole the treasure. And that's, I guess, spawned this army that's been causing shit. So we got the treasure, I guess. We got some glass still from it. Or maybe this is the unit. Maybe this is the army right here. I guess let's do it then. Damn. Defensive auto. We killed him without even losing this injured marine. Amazing. What luck. Alright, so now I guess let's kill... Um, let's kill the spider queen here. We do have a level up. Our marines are all leveled up. I kind of don't want to fight the spider, to be honest. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go down here where we usually hang out after school. Out, just outside. This is like where the kids, the teenage vaulters, come out to make out and um, get themselves knocked up. Oh, we just missed the spider's, the spider's wrath there. The mill foundry research is completed. What's going on with our stuff here? Did we build anything yet? No, the Empire Mint. I guess we did build the seed thing at some point. We're gonna have to make another fucking um, settler if we want to settle anything. Maybe it's a sign that we should just let the city be our only city for a while because that's pretty bad luck that we, our settler got wrecked. All right. Um. We're back home. I think we're safe for now. This is a good place to stop it. We're on turn 63. Next time we'll be able to finish the Empire Mount off pretty early on. And go from there. So if you guys have any pro tips for me, if you would uh, kindly, don't be a dick. Don't be a, a dick. You don't want to be one of those people that come along and start being elitist and stuff. Just not kindly. Kindly. You can call me a, a son of a bitch or a bastard or something like that, but let me know any. If you got any pro tips about this game? I, of course, am new to the game, and I don't know what I'm doing half the time of, of games anyway, let alone games that I don't play uh, that much. Oh, we got to build this glass steel extractor for show. Um, but anyway, I'm Ash. This Ash plays Endless Legend. You can get into the early access beta by buying it on Steam. Do that. It's awesome. Until next time, play on.